Okay, friends, we're starting off laying down. So come down, spread yourself out. Ah, okay, allow your shoulder blades to really scoop underneath your heart so you can flip your palms up. And I like to actually push the floor down with my arms and stick my shoulder blades underneath the rib cage so that the chest feels nice and big to breathe into. And take some really deep breaths through your nose. Feeling your whole belly expanding and contracting. So much movement with just the breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. And as you breathe, it just wants you to continue to smooth it out, smooth out the transitions between inhale and exhale. Allow your body to relax more with each breath, your face, especially your jaw. Notice how much movement we can cultivate just with breathing, okay, without even really lifting a finger. When you think about all of the many miraculous networks of blood vessels and lymphatic vessels and organs, nerves, everything inside of your torso, as you expand and contract all of that all of that's getting a really good massage. Okay, your vessels are getting cleared out, cleaned out. And anytime we breathe deeply in this way, it's kind of a reset. Allow the sound of your own breath in your ears to sound like a big nature sound, like an ocean wave or wind. You can use this breath anytime. When you're driving, when you're cooking, when you're working, Anytime you need a big reset, big breath. So let's just start to move a little bit, friends. We'll start off with some windshield wipers for your low back and your hips. Bending your knees, step your feet up close by your hips. And then walk your feet away from each other until they're just right and you decide where that is. I like mine kind of wide, but to make this more gentle, you could keep your feet close to each other. This will be more gentle on your hips. So either way, you can just start dropping those knees side to side. Finding some nice movement in the hips and the low back. Okay, let this be really gentle and slow, not trying to push the legs in any direction at first, just allowing them to fall. And you'll notice after a few rounds, those hips get a little warmer, a little more open to things. And then maybe you cactus your arms at this point, bending your elbows. 
And you can use that position in your upper body to gently press against the floor. So giving yourself that much more range of motion to firmly draw the knees downward if it feels good in your low back and your hips. So you're always kind of deciding how much activity you'd like to put into these movements, okay? You can always make them really gentle, anything I suggest, or you can make it really spicy. Okay. Taking this twist a little deeper. Next time your knees point up, just pause them and pick your feet up, put your knees together, and we'll start twisting here, hovering the legs to one side and hovering them to the other side. So just a gentle spinal twist here. And so if you want that fullest twist, you could start looking away from your knees. Your knees go to the right, your nose points to the left and vice versa. So that twist is now rolling all the way up your spine up to the base of your skull. And you can imagine all the tissues of your spinal column getting wrung out and massaged and balanced. Okay, you might get some pops. <laughs> The next time you bring your legs back in through center, let's pause them right there. Pause right there. Okay, and then move your knees to be just about over your hips. So you're moving them away from you a little bit. Your legs are still at about a right angle at the knees. Knees are floating over your hips, okay? And then you could keep your arms on the floor if that's more appropriate for you to just stay right here, especially if you're feeling a lot of challenge in your abs and your core, but do your best to keep your low back on the floor. So just see how that feels. Can you get your low back on the floor in this position? If not, just move your knees closer to you, to your face, okay? So you found that, you've got your low back grounded. Now, would it be all right with your neck if you put your fingers by your ears and used the tiniest amount of press? So like you're pushing your head up off the floor just with your ears, which of course you're not, but you have a long neck, okay? Lifting the head and shoulders up off the floor. So if this is okay with your neck and you don't need to put your head back down, you'll start to extend the right leg, bring it back in. Extend the left leg. You can hover it just off the floor, bring it back in. And let's go side to side. Extend one leg, bring it in. Extend and bring it in. Keep breathing. So you're using your abs and your core right now. And this is something that can really help to release your low back. If you ever have any kind of low back discomfort, tension, chances are doing a little bit of core activation and abs will help your low back to release. When your core turns on and your strong abdominal muscles are working, your low back says, oh, thank goodness, I can take a break. So let's do three more on each side. Three and three. Two and two. Last one and one. Very nice, bring your knees in, drop your head. Ah, okay, notice how that feels in your low back and your core. And let's go ahead and rock it up. So tuck your hands behind your knees here and rock yourself all the way up to a seat. And then maybe cross your ankles and roll it over to hands and knees. And there we are. Hands and knees, I'll meet you there. <clears throat> So let's get some uh, wrist stretching in today. Just a little wrist care. Flip your palm up, fingers pointed at you. You can just do one if you like. Um, if one feels okay, go ahead and do two at a time. If not, just do one at a time. And we'll do some cat cows with this nice wrist stretch. So with your inhale, pull that heart forward, looking into your cow pose. 
And with your exhale, push the floor away, rounding it to your cat pose. So inhale to cow, arch the spine. Exhale to cat. Take a few more like this, finding some really nice movement in your spine. Make it side to side, not just front to back. Kind of rolling, sneaky movements. And then when I'm doing cat cows, I like to play around with the boundaries of each posture, making it so fluid that I'm not sure when the cow starts and when the cat starts. All right, friends, bring it back to a tabletop back. And we'll take wrists back to normal. So put your palms back on the floor. Whew. We can circle around on the wrists a few times, shoulders circling over your wrists. And take it back the other way. OK, really super important that we take care of these wrists. They do so much. Okay, friends, tuck in your toes, lift your hips, and find your downward facing dog. Walk out your heels, shake your head. Okay, not super warm in the legs, of course, but we can always bend the knees a whole lot just to help out with that. Any feeling of tension in the hamstrings and the calves, but I just want you to feel it out. How are your legs doing today on the back? Okay, how are your shoulders feeling? If you move your elbows in toward each other, do the shoulder blades slide obligingly down your back or does it feel a little sticky? Just notice without judgment. Okay, we're gonna start to move and build a little bit of a flow here. So stick with me, feel free to modify at any time, okay? Here we go, friends. With your inhale here, just swing your right leg up and out behind you in the sky. With your exhale, send that right foot forward and drop it between your hands. Drop the back heel, that's the left heel. And with your inhale, bring yourself up to a warrior one. And we'll take a few breaths here in warrior one, just warming your legs and getting things nice and strong. So breathe here with me. Okay, I like to interlace my fingers and flip the palms up to get a nice little stretch in the shoulders and arms. Make sure to activate your legs down into the earth and pull them toward each other. Breathe. If you need less, you can lift your hips. If you want more, you can drop your hips. Either way, pull your belly button into your spine. Lift that heart, take three more breaths here. Cross down in the legs, pull them together. Two more breaths. Last one, guys. Strong legs, push down, look up. At the bottom of your last exhale, drop your hands around that front foot. We're going to pop up the back heel. And with your inhale, send this right leg all the way up and back. Find a three-leg dog just for a moment. With your exhale, drop that right foot next to your left. Okay, a little vinyasa in between, here we go. Inhale here, finding your plank. You can use your knees for that, okay, or not. With your exhale, walk to your hands and fold. Okay, bend your knees here, drop your hips. Coming up to a chair pose on your inhale, lift your heart. Okay, exhale here, look behind you. You're sending that right hand back as you twist open to the right. Inhale here, back to your chair pose, drop a little deeper. Exhale here, open to the left, look behind you. Inhale back to your chair pose, drop a little deeper. And exhale here, fold, palms all the way to the floor. You can drop your head and lift your hips. Ooh. On your inhale, come halfway up. Your fingertips can touch the floor or your shins as you look forward with your long spine. 
And with your exhale, take a really nice fold. You can hug your legs. Palms are coming down here. With your inhale, step yourself back to another plank. And with your exhale, lower knees, chest, and chin before anything else. See if you could hover them just off the floor. Inhale here, find a cobra. Pull that heart forward as you drop your tailbone. And exhale here, you can come up through hands and knees if you like, or up through a plank to a downward facing dog. Walk it out here, we'll take a moment and then we'll just go to the other side. Left side. Okay, notice if you feel your legs opening up, shoulders. Here we go. Inhaling here, left leg up and out behind. Exhale here, left foot down between your hands. Drop the right heel. Inhale, bring it up to warrior one. Hang out here, friends. Hips and shoulders facing forward into your, the front of your space, okay? Remember, you can lift your hips for less work. You can drop your hips if you like it and you wanna lean into it. But no matter what, you're pushing the floor down. You're pulling your legs toward each other and your belly button is in and your heart lifts up. Maybe interlace your fingers the opposite way from what you did last time. Push those palms high. Three more breaths, building heat, building warmth. Two more. One more breath here, warriors. At the bottom of your exhale, drop your hands around that left foot. Pop up the right heel. And with your inhale, let's three leg dog it. Left leg up behind, send it in the sky. Okay, exhale the left foot down to meet the right. You're back in downward facing dog. Okay, same little vinyasa here, let's go. Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhale to your hands and fall. Drop your hips here, bend your knees as you inhale up into a chair squat. Same twist here, exhale out to the right, looking behind you, try to point your knees forward. <sighs> Inhale back to your chair squat, drop a little lower. Other side, exhale as you twist to the left, try to point your knees forward. Inhale back to your chair squat, drop a little lower. Exhale here, hands down, hips up, head down. Halfway up as you inhale. Big fold as you exhale. All right, palms are down here. Inhale, step it back to your plank. And exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Chaturanga, float off the floor. Inhale here, pull that heart forward into cobra. And exhale here, downward facing dog. I'll meet you there. Shake it out, friends. Headed to the other side, headed to the right now, okay? So we'll add something. Inhaling here, right leg up and out behind. Exhaling here, right foot down between your hands. Drop the back heel here. And inhaling, cartwheel yourself up and around to warrior two. So yeah, I'll meet you up in warrior two. I'll spin around to face you. So your hips and shoulders are now facing out to the side, out to the left. So check out the right knee. Make sure it points at your toes, okay? We don't want it collapsing inward. And make sure your shoulders are way down your back and you can hang out right there. And we're just gonna move a little bit here. So with your inhale, think of pushing into that right leg. Lift your hands up. With your exhale, drop back into that right knee, point it at your toes. So just take that a few more times with me. Inhale, extend the right leg and exhale, bend it. That's all. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend. Nice, one more time just like that. 
And next time you come up to that right leg extended, hands up in the air. Here's where we're going next. We're adding something. Okay, with your exhale, I want you to point your right toes at the ceiling. Okay, point those right toes up. Bend into your left knee this time and drop your hips as low as they can go towards your left heel. Okay, we'll do it again. Inhale, back up to standing. Exhale, warrior two. You're bending the right knee where we were before. Inhale to stand. Exhale, skandasana, bending that left knee, pointing the right toes up. Let's do that one more time. Inhale to standing. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, stand it. Exhale, skandasana. Now hold here with me, take a few breaths. You can put your hands on the floor and lift your hips if you need an escape route, okay? If everything's going great though, continue to push the floor. Don't sink into your legs. Push the floor, three more breaths. You feel some nice heat building in your legs. Two more breaths. Flex that right foot, point the toes up for your last breath. Nice, with your inhale, bring it back up to standing. Whew. Exhale here, warrior two. And then from your warrior two, drop your hands around that front foot, pop up the left heel, okay? Coming up to a three-leg dog. Inhale here, right leg up and out behind. Exhale here, drop the right next to the left, back in downward facing dog. Let's do a little vinyasa, then we'll do the other side. Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhaling here, you can hop it or step it to your hands. You decide and fold. Drop your hips as you inhale into a chair squat. Exhale, twist to one side. Inhale, back to center, drop, out, drop lower. Exhale, twist to the other side. Try to point your knees forward. Inhale to center, drop lower. And exhale here, drop your hands, hips up, fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, you can hop it or step it back to your plank as you inhale. And exhale, knees, chest and chin. Chaturanga. Inhaling here, find your cobra, lift your heart. Exhale here, downward facing dog. Walk it out, friends. We're gonna do the other side. Notice how your down dog feels any different, okay? Shoulders, legs, back, neck. Inhale here, we're gonna get the left leg up and out behind. Exhale here, drop the left foot between your hands. Drop that right heel. Right heel is down. And with your inhale, cartwheel yourself up and around. Warrior two. All right, I'll spin around to meet you. So here in this warrior, check out the left knee. You have time to make it right. Make sure the left knee points at the toes and not inward towards your arch. Okay, hips and shoulders both open out to the right now and the shoulder blades are low down the back. So just bring in a little movement. We're just gonna move the left knee at first. With your inhale, just extend the knee, arms up. And exhale, drop into that warrior two. Okay, so take a few more breaths moving like this. Inhale up, exhale back into it. You can always uh, reduce how low you drop into it if you want a little less, if it's too much. And if you enjoy the challenging and the feeling of release, you can drop your hip pretty low, but I wouldn't let the left knee pass its toes, okay? Take care of that left knee. Nice, now inhale, stand up, extend into that left leg. Now point the left toes up at the ceiling. Ready for skandasana? With your exhale, drop into the right knee, drop the right hips. Let's do that again. Inhale to stand. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, stand it. 
Exhale, Skandasana. One more, friends. Inhale. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, Skandasana. Hold it here, breathe with me. Remember, don't let your legs go passive. It's important that you keep pushing the floor. Use your hands on the floor and lift your hips if you need an escape plan. Breathe. Big hip release, big leg release, wrapping up into your low back. Two more breaths. Push that floor. Last breath. All right, with your next inhale, you're gonna press back up to standing. Exhale, warrior two. And then drop your hands around that front foot, the left foot. Pop up the right heel. And three leg dog on your inhale, left leg up and out behind you. Exhale, drop that left foot next to the right. Okay, walk it out. Legs should be feeling really different than when we started. And let's keep going. Come along, friends, or feel free to take a break rather than do the vinyasas. You can always just rest in child's pose and we'll meet in a downward facing dog. So here we go. Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhale, hop or step to your hands and fold. Drop your hips, inhale into your chair. Exhale to your twist. Inhale deeper into your chair. Exhale to your other twist. Inhale deeper into your chair. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale. And a big fold on your exhale. Palms are down. Inhale to plank, hop it or step it. Exhale, chaturanga, knees, chest and chin. Inhale for your cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk it out here, take some time. Legs should be feeling warm, shoulders should be feeling warm. Okay, we're gonna add one more thing to our flow and then we're gonna put it away, okay? <laughs> so inhaling here, right leg up and out behind. Exhale here, right foot down between your hands. Drop the left heel. Inhaling all the way up to warrior two. Exhale, drop into that right knee, drop nice and low. Okay, inhale all the way up to standing. Remember this, pointing the right toe up. Exhaling, drop into the left hip, skandasana. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, warrior two. We'll just do it one time, okay? At the bottom of your warrior two, exhale. Go ahead and drop that uh, right elbow to the right knee and reach the left hand up. And we'll pause right here in an extended side angle. I'll spin around to meet you here. So extended side angle, we can keep it really gentle here. We have a nice stretch going all along the left side, okay? And if you want to, you can take that left arm and reach it away from your left foot over your head and get a nice uh, low back opening, side body opening. Okay, I'm going to give you that option, just a really gentle option, but I'm also gonna give you some spicy options if you want to get a little spicy. So if you wanna build some strength here, you're going to take this right arm and reach it away from you. So you'll feel instantly that you've got a lot more challenge for your upper body here and a lot more challenge for your legs. So you can stay here challenging yourself, reaching your hands away, or if you're more into a stretchy mood right now, you're gonna take the right fingers to the floor next to your right foot, okay? If that's just about as far as you can go, then please stay there. But if that's pretty, pretty fine, you, you don't feel any sense of stress or strain, you're gonna drop your right shoulder really low next to your right knee on the inside. 
reach your right hand underneath your right thigh and send your left hand behind your back to grab the right. So wherever you are, wherever on that spectrum you have chosen to be, you're looking for gentleness or strength or challenge, breathe, <laughs> no matter where you are. Maybe look up. And take one more really nice big breath in here, okay? At the bottom of your exhale, drop your hands under your shoulders, pop up that left heel. Inhale here, right leg up and out behind. Exhale, right foot down, downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna take a vinyasa, so feel free to take a break. We'll meet in down dog. Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhale to your hands and fold. Drop your hips, inhale to your chair squat. Exhale to your twist. Inhale deeper into your chair squat. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale deeper into your chair squat. Exhale, hands down, hips up, fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down. Inhaling here, back to your plank. Exhaling here, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, we'll meet here. And we'll move to the left side. And then we'll take a break and get down and get real stretchy. Start to push into your hands, push into your feet. Allow this down dog to open up the whole back of your legs. Sliding your shoulder blades down your back. All right, friends, here we go. Inhaling here, left leg up and out behind you. Exhaling here, left foot down between your hands. Drop the right heel. Inhaling, come on up to warrior two. Okay, exhale, drop a little deeper into that left knee. Now inhaling up to standing, extend that left knee, left toes up, remember the skandhasana. Exhaling, bend the right knee, skandhasana. Inhale, back up to stand. And exhale, warrior two. Okay, now allow that left elbow to float down to your left knee and the right arm to reach up. And you can just stay here looking up at the right hand or at the floor, wherever seems natural. I'll spin around again. So I'll just present you with the same spectrum on this side. You can go for gentleness, you can go for strength, or you can go for range of motion, or all three. <laughs> Okay, so if you wanna stay gentle, you just keep that right hand reaching up, maybe over your head to increase the stretch in the right side of your body. And you can drop the hips low or not. Okay, you want a little more strength to cultivate, you reach out with the left arm as well. Big strength, big breath. Push the floor with those legs. Okay, you want a little more flexibility you're focusing on, you drop those left fingers to the floor by your left foot and hook that left shoulder down inside your left knee, left arm under you, right hand behind you, and breathe. Wherever you are is perfect if it feels good and you're still having fun. Push that floor. And then look wherever it feels natural for your nose to point. One more big breath in. Let it go here. Drop your hands under your shoulders. Pop up the right heel. Whew, three leg dog. Inhaling here, left leg up and out behind. Exhale here, drop that left foot next to the right. Okay. This is our last downward facing dog for this practice. So really push into your hands, push into your feet. Notice the backs of the legs. 
And as you're ready, friends, just come all the way down to your knees here. Come on down. <laughs> okay. We're gonna sit the hips over to one side. And just take your legs out front and shake them out. So we've really warmed the legs. We've really warmed the whole back, okay, and spine column. So let's get into really releasing the low back. Let's start off just by bringing this right foot in. Go ahead and step it very close to you. Okay, so your right knee points up and your left leg can stay long, okay? If it's hard for you to sit up straight here, you can modify by just bending the left knee more. You can point the left knee up a lot or just a little. And that should make it easy for you to sit up tall. Okay, and then once you feel pretty tall, just use your left arm to hold the right leg. Right fingers behind you, make you a little taller as you twist to look over that right shoulder. Breathe here. Big breaths into the whole length of your spine. Think of your inhale as being really big in your chest and your exhale as being really strong in your belly. One more big breath here, friends. And then <clears throat> release yourself from this twist, turn to face back toward that left foot. And let's just get the right knee on the ground. Just put it down, push it down there. Okay, again, if it's really hard for you to sit up straight, you can do the same thing here, just keeping that left knee bent. And it should make it a lot easier to sit up, okay? <clears throat> so find how that works for you. And then start to put your fingers on the floor out in front of you on either side of that left leg. And we're gonna use a really long spine here. Longest spine you can make. Just start to move your heart toward that left big toe. So remember to gently resist the floor with your legs here. Your legs are not passive. They are extremely involved, okay? They're not cranking. There's, not, there's no kind of um, extreme intense situation here, but your legs are gently resisting the floor. And that's gonna give you some spaciousness in your low back and the backs of your legs to lean and kind of roll your heart forward into this. So breathe. With each inhale, think long spine. With each exhale, think push the floor gently with your legs. You may stay up on your hands, okay? Because it doesn't matter how far you fold, does it? Not at all. Um, it does matter that you're feeling a really pleasant opening on the back of your left leg and all across your back. You can come to your elbows, that's fine. And you can drop your head but you're still doing your best to keep a long spine. You want you can try activating that left kneecap as if you wanted to move it towards your left hip so really activating your quadriceps can help your hamstrings let go we'll take one more breath here in your forward fold
As you're ready, friends, walk yourself up and out of this. Take your time. There's no rush. Okay, you can lean back on your hands here. Kick out your legs. Maybe shake them out a little bit. And we'll just do the other side. Okay, so as you're ready, extend that right leg and pull the left foot in and stamp it down close to you. Okay, same idea applies here. If it's really hard to sit up tall and be relaxed, just bend the right knee, no problem. Same posture, okay? Right arm holds the left leg very close. Left finger is just behind your hips, make you a little taller as you look over that left shoulder. And breathe. Big breaths into your chest. Big exhales into your belly. One more breath here, friends, just wringing out your spine, recalibrating. All right, from here, untwist. Just let that left knee fall to the ground. You can step the left foot on the inside of your right thigh. Okay, sit up tall, bend the right knee however you need to, but use those legs to actively resist the floor. That's gonna give you some power, okay? Um, it's kind of amazing how just a little bit of activation can get you some release that you couldn't get otherwise. So fingers down around the right leg, spine is really long, heart wants to be toward the right big toe. Take your time, you have so much time. With your inhales, long spine, with your exhales, push the floor and just close your eyes. Release any expectation of how far you're gonna fold, okay? How, how deep you're gonna drop your heart. It's irrelevant, irrelevant. Just pay attention to the feelings on the back of the right leg, all across your low back, your whole rib cage. <clears throat> push that floor and lengthen that spine and breathe. You can use the right quadriceps here, engaging the right kneecap up towards your right hip. And that might help release your hamstrings a little bit. And taking your last breath here, nice and slow. And then roll yourself back out, come on out. Right, all the way up to a seat. You can lean back on your hands again, shake out your legs. And then if you just tuck your hands behind your knees, you can roll it all the way back to the floor. Back where we started. Okay, take a little time here. Get your feet up in the air, circle out your ankles. Make both directions circles and then do some figure eights. Okay, a little ankle care. 
Another very complicated joint that doesn't get a whole lot of love. Reverse your figure eights. Go until your shins and your calves feel a little bit tired. Okay, and then from there, extending your legs as much as feels all right, drop your hands by your hips on the floor and see if you could lower your legs in slow motion without lifting your low back. All right, when they land, relax. Relax your whole body. You can flip your palms up. Let your breath relax and just be free and effortless. Finding big breath. Whole body soft. Spend some time here just scanning your body, noticing all the parts, how they feel. Notice the rise and fall of your chest and your belly with your breath. And really tune in to being present in this moment. Notice everything that's happening right now. With each breath, allow any remaining tension to melt from your body into the floor. Friends, please keep resting just like this for as long as you can. This is where I'll leave you for our practice today. Thanks so much for joining me.